Hello everyone, I just wanted to go over some uh, quick OBS settings. Um, those some people out there are having some issues. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on uh, the settings that I used I find best. Might be better ones out there, but I find that these are the best ones for what I do. So OBS is free. Um, one of the things you want to look for is um, you want to immediately go to your settings before you do anything else. So we're going to go and we're going to talk about uh, our outputs. We're going to go to our output here. If you can see, I've got my rate control set to CBR. My bit rate is 27,000 kilobits per second. And that is what I use in order to uh, record 2K. When I record 4K, I do 50,000. Uh, keyframe interval set to 2. Reset max quality if you can. Profile high. Turn off look ahead. That actually has a negative impact, I find. Yeah, you get a little bit more uh, visual quality here and there. Psycho visual tuning is important. Your GPU, of course, select your GPU. Your max B frames I set to 2. So we'll go to recording. You'll notice that I've mirrored the settings, same settings here for recording. Uh, in audio, this can sometimes be set a little weird to 160. Set that to 128. You don't need 160 unless you're an audiophile. You'll never notice the difference. Uh, next, we're gonna go to our audio. Only turn on the audio that you need in OBS. So you can see I've got desktop audio too. You can see it there. We need to disable that. We'll disable that one. And that's gone. Um, that's the reason I set that that way so you guys could see that. If there's more than one desktop audio, you'll get a reverberation effect. Um, you'll, you'll hear yourself almost like you're falling down a cave, an echo. Um, we'll just take a look down here. That's nothing to see. Uh, my video, as you can see, my canvas resolution I've set to 4K because I have a 4K monitor. I'm downscaling with the Lanz, Lanzos or Lanxos downscale filter, and I'm, that's 36 samples, which is a really good downscaler. So, yeah, you can set your canvas and your scale as the same thing. But I'm used to using a 4K canvas and downscaling, so that works for me. Uh, process priority I set to normal. My renderer. Direct 3D11, color format NV12, and color space 601. And yeah, yeah, that's our basic settings in here. Of course, I'm sending it up to uh, my Restream server. So that's it for OBS. What I'm going to show you guys next is how that interfaces to a lot of the retro play that I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move over here. You're going to see everything disappear. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring up RetroArch. I'll show you how this works. So we're going to bring this up. You'll see it populate over here on the side. I'm just keeping it as full screen. What I'll do is I'll actually take this off the monitor. No, I'll keep it up like this. This is fine. I don't like doing it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disable it. There we go. So we've disabled our video input. So I'm just going to load some content here. Uh, let's just pick, uh, yeah, let's pick Pocky and Rocky if it's there. Do I have it? Uh, it doesn't matter what I use, really. Legend of Mystical Ninja. It's not an eh, SNES non-X current. What I need to do over here in Retro Arch in OBS is make sure that it's actually that and anchoring it. So when I go full screen here, you'll see it anchor over on this side. Let's wait for it for a second. Sometimes it takes a while. And sometimes you have to go full screen, turn it off, and go back to full screen. So, I've got everything specifically set up to make it look like a CRT monitor. And you'll see that the frame rate is actually real good.
So right now, you might notice that the frame rate's kind of janky on OBS. But that doesn't mean that it's being recorded janky. So by one of the things you want to make sure when you pull screen your retro art is that you click on the actual screen that you're playing from. Otherwise, you get a weird frame rate. Uh, also, make sure that you're set to 60 frames per second and that your monitor is set to 60 hertz. It makes the biggest difference to the frame rate that I've found. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helped you guys for your retro streams and your OBS settings. Um, one of the things that I found was just tinkering with the settings over time. I found the right ones that worked for me. 2K resolution hits the VP9 encoder, which you want to do um, if you want the best quality from YouTube. Twitch, 6,000 kilobits per second is pretty bad. 720 is still your best there, which I'm not a big fan of. I want it to look the best I can. So yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. And until next time, this is Koi Fish Game signing off. Bye!